Hello, and welcome to the first in a series of WireMod tutorials. WireMod is an excellent add-on, and can greatly enhance your gameplay and contraption functionality if you know how to use it. I will post a series of videos to teach you this WireMod, which will increase in difficulty as the series progresses. In this, in this episode, we're going to build a WASD controlled vehicle. Here's the frame I have built before the video over here. We're going to be building onto this, and make it and eventually make it move using the movement keys. Now the first step to any WASD controlled vehicle is the advanced pod controller. This device will become your friend. So let's pull the advanced pod controller tool out now. Alright, now, we must place it somewhere on the vehicle. It does not have to be on the seat. Anywhere, just somewhere that can, you can keep with, in touch with it. Now that it is placed, we need to link it. To link an advanced pod controller, with the advanced pod tool, right click the controller, and then right click the seat. Like I just did. Again, to link, right click the controller, and right click the seat if you missed that. Now let's get a gate. Now this gate is a gate arithmetic. It allows us to add, subtract, and do other things. The one I selected is a subtract gate. Now that we have that out, let's add our wheels. Because you can't have a vehicle without wheels unless you're not building a car. Place them on the axles that I provided for you. Alright. Now you can notice that when you press E close to these wheels, with any tool, they will switch their direction of rotation. This is necessary because, as you noticed earlier, the wheels on this side rotated differently from the wheels on that side. Alright, looks good. Good support. Alright. Now let's get wiring. Pull up the wire tool. You can have any settings you want. And the first thing we're going to do is wire A from the subtract chip to the advanced pod controller. Then left click the advanced pod controller and select output W. Next, we're going to do B from the subtract. You can scroll through the inputs and outputs by right clicking over the chip. Click the advanced pod controller and select output S by right clicking twice. Now basically what's happening here is when you're pressing W, W outputs 1 and 1 minus 0 equals 1. Inversely, when you press S, it makes it 0 minus 1, and 0 minus 1 is negative 1. The wheels roll forward for the value 1, and roll backward for the value negative 1. Next, we're going to have to wire up the wheels. So wire A, go, from the wheel to the subtract chip. No double clicking is necessary in this step. This will make the wheels receive the values 1 or negative 1. When they get the 1 signal, they will roll forward. When they get the negative 1 signal, they will roll backward. Let's try it out. I am pressing W now. When I get up here, I'm going to press S. And I am moving backward. Alright, that seems to work fine. Now that we have forward and backward movement hound, we just need to add steering. Now since this is a simple video, I'm not going to get too deep into it. I'm just going to add a couple of thrusters. The thruster force will differ upon how heavy the vehicle is. And despite what other tutorials might tell you, you do not have to put them on the absolute front of the vehicle. Just near the front will do, so that it rotates when they turn on. 
Now since we want this thruster to push us right, since it's on the left side of the car, we're going to wire it, and we're going to wire A from the thruster to the advance pod controller and select output D. Same thing for the other one, except we're going to select output A for that. Left thruster output D, right thruster output A. And this is the effect that that gives you. Full, stable steering, along with forward and backward movement to complete and create a WireMod WASD car. In my next tutorial, I will be adding onto the same car, giving it brakes, headlights, and a speedometer. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching.